Happy Monday, Bowflex family. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Lori is here. Just finished another workout. Getting excited for this one. Sharon is here. Welcome, everybody. If you're here, say hello. We are live, but of course, many of you do these workouts later because we leave them up for you if you can't make it live. Today, we are doing a 30-minute, but you have the option to make it a little shorter, dumbbell workout snack. So we talked about this last week with our flexible workout, but the trendy term that we keep seeing all over social media is workout snack. And I love it, right? Because it sounds so fun. Who doesn't love a good snack? So we're going to be doing something similar today, just using our dumbbells, where I'm going to give you little five-minute increments. And you can pair them all together. If you want just five minutes, keep it with that. If you want to take it for 10, if you want to repeat, because we're going to have five up top, five on the mat. So that's another option. Maybe you're just watching TV and you don't want to get up off the mat. I'm going to give you some things to do down below. And we'll give you some things to do. Maybe you're at work. You can't get down on the mat. You want to just keep it standing. So many options when it comes to a workout snack. So we're working with dumbbells today. We'll take a kettlebells next week. So make sure that you have some space. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use whatever you have available to you. You can also just keep it body weight and just move with us today. Make sure you have some water. I know I have some around here somewhere, <laughs> but maybe I forgot to bring it up. But we're getting it done today. Natalie is here with a teacher work day. Yes, taking my lunch early. Excellent. Oh my gosh, Natalie, I hope you are staying warm. Dixie is here. Welcome, everybody. So fun to see familiar names and faces. All right, team, so make sure that you have some space. Make sure you have your weights if you're using them today. Again, I'm going to give you lots of options if you need to keep this short. Maybe you're like, Natalie, Dixie, you need to get back to work. But if you have a little more time, you can get even longer. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start moving our body. We'll start just with a little march just to get everything warm and moving. Drone Dogs is here. Welcome, welcome. Let's roll those shoulders. We're going to get the energy up. We're going to wake ourselves up today. Maybe you just got up. Maybe you've been up for hours. Maybe you've been sitting at work. But we're going to get those endorphins flowing. We're going to get our energy up, and then we're going to get moving. So we're getting our bodies prepped, but also we are getting our minds prepped. Right through here, we're going to step to the side. <sighs> right here. Oh, hello, producer. Working on my microphone here. You keep stepping out right here. The beauty of a live workout, right? Good? Okay. All right. So step out to the side right through here. If you guys can hear me, let me know. Everything says it's working, but just want to make sure. Hold it here a little. Shift your weight side to side right through here. Let's get that microphone set up. Walk your feet in, and from here, we're going to do a little squat at the bottom of the squat. We're going to lift up, extend up through the hinge, sit back down low, and drive it up. So it looks like this. Squat, hinge, get that stretch, sit low, and drive it up right here. Down. All the way up. And up. Let's get one more, and we will hold it down right here. Can you hold it here? Pedal those feet. Get a nice, good stretch right through here. And let's roll it up about halfway, hands on top. Let's roll through your back, cat-cow. So really aiming to get through the spine, all the way through, and then back. Right through here, team, we are going to walk those hands out into that inchworm or that high plank, holding it here. And if you can, I want you to rotate to the side, back to center, just holding. If you need to, you can drop that knee, whatever is good for you. Taking it here, back to center, taking it here. Hold 
your stretch. And then let's switch to the other side. So bring that other leg forward, reach down, reach up, reach through just like that. Let's see, guess I would be here. And then walk it up or walk it back. Slowly roll it up and let's reach across. So stretch through the side. Yes, whoo, there we go. Take it over your head, big stretch. Really lengthen. So I always like to finish my warm ups with just some gentle cardio mobility, but also what really gives you that stretch and gets us ready to go. Oh good, all right, Lori says it's better. Thanks, Kurt. And let's cross our knees right here. All right, so if you are just joining, we're doing workout snacks today, so we're gonna have a little five minute increments, similar to what we did with our flexible strength and cardio workout, right? Where you have the option to keep it short or take it longer, but we're doing five minute workout snacks and we're gonna alternate between some standing, some on the mat, and with the option to repeat. So five minute workout snacks that you can do. Again, you can make it a five minute workout, 10, 15, 20, or hang out with us for 30. All right, so let's start. We're starting with five moves all up top. 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. And we're gonna start just with our lunge. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna do a reverse lunge, cross it into the curtsy, step back center, and step it up. If that doesn't feel right for you, you can just do a regular reverse lunge or a little tap back where you don't get as low. But if you can, we're gonna drop it down, cross it over, back to center, step it up. All right, so we are going in 10 seconds, all with that right foot forward, lunging it, Crossing over in three, two, one. Here we go. Lunge. Cross it in the curtsy. Step back here and drive it up. So it feels like a lot of parts, but we don't want to rush it. We really we just want to take it here and drive it up, keeping those shoulders pulled back. I know, especially as we get tired or if we're just waking up, sometimes we're rounded. So really pull them back, keep that chest open and proud here. Drive it up. We got about 15 seconds. Burn. Feeling it already. Can we get one more? Cross it over here and up. Woo! If your hands need a little break, set those weights down. I'm using my Select Tech 552 adjustable dumbbells today. So I'll be able to go up and down as needed. Let's go ahead and get that other side, other foot forward. Stepping back on those train tracks, bend your knees to grab those weights in three, two, one. Lunge, cross it over, back to center, drive it up. Remember, it's a snack. If we can think of this as just five minutes at a time, that's what's fun about these types of workouts is thinking in small increments and also knowing if that's all you have time for, that is enough. We're getting it all in here and up, Whew. 15 seconds. Remember if you need to just take a regular lunge or a tap back, that is always an option. Here, here and up. Yes, team, catch your breath. Whew. All right, so here is what we got with this. We're gonna take it bicep curl into a press. You know I love this combo because we can get pull and push we can keep that core engaged. You can step one foot back if you need to. Grab those weights, 40 seconds. Here we go. Here, here, wrap them in and down. I don't know about you guys, but my heart rate is up from those lunges. So of course, just like all of our workouts, we're gonna get that cardio, whether we're doing cardio specific or not, right through here. Drive it up. Now I like to stagger my feet, and that's just to make sure that I'm not leaning. Sometimes when we're parallel, we get a little bit of that lower back. So putting one foot here helps me stack my core. Here, wrap them in, take it down. One more, three, two, one, 
and relax. All right, team. So we're going to take it to a little bit of core. We're going to take it over to one side. I want you to think of it like a slam, right? So side to side. So one weight, if you have a heavier weight, just twist, otherwise over your head. A little rainbow slam. Obviously, we're not really slamming because we have a weight, not a ball, right? We often think of these with a medicine ball or a slam ball, or maybe you've done the sand bells, but we can get it all done just with our dumbbells. So again, side to side, watch me here. Little twist, and I'm going here. Again, if you wanna just take the weight side to side, or get a little more of that upper and that rotation going over your head. After this, we have one more move. Five, four, three, two, one. Last move, team. How about we get some hinge? Let's take it to our deadlift. Bend over row, and all the way up. So finish strong. We go all through the back of the body, glutes, hamstrings, calves, and of course, all through our back and shoulders. Let's do it. Hinge, row, deadlift, and row. So we wanna keep those weights close to the front of the body, then pull those elbows up, and up, down. Here we go. Drive it up, yes, team. Boom. Standing up straight and tall again, not hyperextending, not arching that back. Right here. And up 10 seconds. Breathe. We got three, two, one. And relax, set those weights down. Shake that out. So we're gonna take a few extra seconds, grab some water if you need it. Again, I got water somewhere around here. I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> grab that water, whoo, and we are taking it to the mat. So your first workout snack was up top, all standing if that's what you need. This one, we're all on the mat. Again, maybe you're watching TV, maybe you're just not feeling like getting up. So. Let's take it down. We're gonna start with a press. So join me down here, we got those weights. You can go on something medium to heavy, but we're here, right through here. We're gonna start with a press. We're gonna turn them in at the top so we get a little triceps, take them out here. Then we're switching gears to a bridge with or without the weights, totally up to you. We're gonna get a little side plank clamshell, then we're gonna get a regular plank. So a little more core, but we're getting some upper and some lower as well. So join me down on the mat, starting with your press again. We're gonna turn them in and take them out. 45 degree angle, core engaged. Get set, really tuck that pelvis, nice alignment as we press. Here we go. Press up and in, down and out. Again, this is only five minutes, team. Five minute workout snack from the mat. Yes, you can. And breathe right here. Keeping that core engaged. In at the top, elbows out at the bottom. We're staying right here. And breathe. Yes. Up strong. Yes, you can. Remember that upper body is getting a break right after this. So really push through. We got three, two, one. Relax it down. You're gonna stay right here. How awesome is that? You don't even have to move. Let's, if you want, rest those weights right here. If you wanna keep it body weight or just take it to one weight, we're gonna lift and lower into a bridge. So I want you to think about pulling the core in, pressing up through those heels, squeezing the glutes and hamstrings. Here we go. Take it up, drop it down. Now, so many options with this. If you notice, I have my dumbbells one on each leg and they're angled out a bit. So maybe this is a better option for you just to have one weight. Maybe that feels a little better, especially if you have something like the Select Tech a little bit longer, or you can have no weight. Either way, even though our focus are the glutes and hamstrings, right? I still want you to think about that core. I want you to relax your upper body. If you feel those shoulders wanting to creep forward, relax down into the mat. Drive it up, let it drop. Drive it up, yes, three, two, 
one and relax. All right, team, we're gonna roll onto our side. So you can keep one dumbbell. Here's what we got. We're stacking those hips, we're here. We're gonna do a lift and a lift. So it's a little clamshell. If you want, you can add a weight with the clamshell or the hip lift. Otherwise, just keep it body weight. Here we go. Up, up, down, and down. I'm gonna start nice and slow. One and then the other. My feet are glued together. And then if you want, you can think of them as one solid move. The weight does make it a little trickier. So what I don't want you to feel like is that the weight is pulling you out of alignment here. We wanna zip up that core and just lift from the hip. Your pelvic, your pelvis stays stable along with that rib cage. So if that's better for you to be here, you know the clamshell is challenging with or without a weight, with or without that hip lift. We got five, four, three, two, one. So lots of core, lots of obliques, and then of course, hips and glutes. We're taking it down on this side, and then we're into a plank right after this, and then this snack is done, right? So fast, stack those hips. Knees are a little bit in front. Let's lift it, here we go. Up and up, down and down. Again, my goal is core stability, pelvic stability, hip opening, but doesn't have to be super wide. Don't feel like the goal is to bring your hip back here. It's just to get that internal and external lift, rotation. Bring it up. Really good, not just for our glutes and our hips, but for our core and pelvic floor. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Let's keep this weight. We're gonna take it into a plank position. Let's go high plank, and we're gonna do our little pull through. So we're pulling that weight through across our body. If that is too much for you, stay down on your knees, but lift in that core, lift in that pelvic floor. Drive up through the arms. We've got 40 seconds. Here we go. Pull it through. Right here, yes team. You got it. And up. Nice and stable. So I am gonna move a little bit, but what I don't want is to feel like I don't have that core stability here. Even though I have to shift my weight a tad as I bring it through, I'm still staying nice and tight in my legs, in my glutes, and certainly in my core. 10 seconds, team. Breathe. We got five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it back. Yes, team. Another snack done. We're going to take it back up top. If you needed just a 10 minute workout that got everything in, that was it, team. Or 15, if you're including that warm up. We're going to go back to the top. Here's the kicker. We're going to make each one a little bit different. So even though we'll have similar movements, we're going to make a little bit of variety out of it. So I'm actually going to go a little heavier with these weights. If you want to, you can as well with 15s. We're going to start with those lunges, but we're going to mix it up. So join me with those weights. Ooh, I can feel the difference. Here's what we got this time, team. We're going curtsy into side lunge. Remember this little combo? If that doesn't feel right for you, you can keep just the curtsy, or you can do exactly what we did before, where we did that lunge into curtsy. But if you want, we're shifting our weight. Curtsy into the side lunge. We got right, we got left. We got our curl and our press, but because we're going heavier, we're gonna go one at a time. I'll give you some core options. Woo! And then we've got that rainbow slam and what was our last one? Oh, deadlift and row going heavier. All right, let's take it with that curtsy. Here we go. Cross it over in the curtsy. Step it over to the side lunge. So I really want you to think shifting your weight from one hip, drive it out, to the other. So we're getting a weight shift, glutes, outer thighs, but of course, lots of quads and hamstrings as well. If you want to tap in in between like this, you can. If it feels better for you, to go fluid here, step it wide, whoo, take it here, step it wide, ah, five seconds, can we get one more, 
all the way through and boom. Whoo! It's amazing how just going up just five pounds, 15, so 10 total, really drives my heart rate up, right? Different moves, so I'm gonna feel it a little differently, but even just holding them, they feel tougher. Here we go, team. Let's bring it up. Other side, step it out. Oh no, it's a curtsy. Here we go, curtsy. You knew it. That was my muscle memory, right? Cross into that curtsy, because that left leg had just done a side lunge. Take it over, step it in, and here. Boom, whoo, take it over, step it in, right through here. 10 seconds, ha, bring it up, five, four, three, two, and one. Give your hands a break. This time, team, if you're working with something a little lighter than what you did the first round, we're gonna take a hammer curl, palms in, straight up. If you got something heavier and you wanna alternate, you can do that too. I'm gonna start with them together, then I'll probably switch to alternating. Grab those weights, curl and press. Here we go. So up, hammer curl, press, down, and down. Again, if you wanna stagger, here and here. And if you want one side at a time, that's what I'm taking it to with these 15s. Feel pretty good on the curl, right? But this is when we do these combo moves and you realize, ooh, that press is challenging with the 15s. But we're getting stronger every day we show up here, right? Boom. Can you get one more together or separate? Three, two, one. Boom. All right, let's switch gears to one weight. Again, we've got that rainbow part of our snack here to here. Since I'm going heavier, I'm just gonna shift my weight. So it's a little tap out, but what I'm thinking about is that core rotation. If you wanna bring your arms up for a little more upper, that works too. Here we go. Take it here, oof, here. <laughs> Take it here. So again, keeping it small, maybe you have something heavier. Not fast. Or here, you can split the difference, chest level. Especially after the curl and the press, right? We really feel those arms and shoulders. And if you're feeling it over, big rainbow, but controlled. Core, upper, a little cardio. Whew. Then we will finish with that deadlift. We're gonna take it a little different. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, team. This is your last move. Here's what we got. Let's take it to a sumo deadlift. So your toes are out. It's still a hinge. We're still dropping right through here. If you want, you can go wide row with it here or keep a regular row. So we got a sumo deadlift, wide row or regular row. Let's finish it out strong. And then we breathe. Let's bring it here. Shoulders back. Sumo. Three, two, one. Take it down, wide row if you want. Stand up straight, it's your hinge, but toes are out, so it's gonna feel a little different, right? And with that wide row, elbows up. That doesn't feel right for you. Take it here, in, stand up. Feel the difference right through those inner thighs and your glutes, you still feel a lot of those hamstrings. But the placement's a little different. That's why we like to switch up our angles and have different variations on exercises because our bodies are gonna feel it. Same movement pattern, different angle. Three, two, one. Yes, team, rack those weights. Quick sip of water. We're taking it back down to the mat. Again, a few things are gonna be a little different, so Get excited, we have one more snack to go. If you just wanted three five minute snacks, you can be done, get some stretching, grab some water, cool it down. If you wanna finish it out here, again, our actual snacks, we're gonna have four five minute snacks, but you could get through it quicker. If you wanted to take the rest out, keep them going, do 10 and 10, or just go through all 20. So many options if you need it to be a little shorter. I'm gonna keep it these 15s into this press. 
Here's what we got, team. We're coming down on our back. This time, I'm going to keep those elbows in. We're still going to start wide. Press up. So we really activate those triceps. Press up. Bring elbows down. Bridge. I'm going to turn my heels in and my, and my knees out for a little bit of a frogger lift. You're going to like how that feels. Again, you're going to feel the difference in the placement. Then we'll get those side planks and that regular plank. Let's take it down on our back. Let's finish it out, team. Here we go. We're starting on our... <laughs> Sorry about that team, I was moving. Three, two, one, and relax. I was moving so, you guys, so I wasn't laying on my mic because I thought that might mute me, but when I moved the mic, I muted myself. All right, so let's take it right here. Watch me, my heels are turning in, my knees are turning out, so it's a little frog bridge. If that doesn't feel right for you, keep regular. You can do this with or without your weights. We're gonna lift and lower, here we go up and down so again the difference you're gonna feel inner thighs and glutes right with or without those weights if it feels better no weights take it there or like we did before if you want to take one weight right in the center frog bridge or frog pump hip thrust whatever it is these are also great off of a bench breathe five we got four, we got three, two, one, and relax. Nice team, we're turning on our side. So we're gonna get this and this. If you wanna add a little extra, instead of that weight here, we're gonna pull that elbow up for a little bit of a row. If that's too heavy, let's just go with the movement. But here we go, team. Up and up, and down, up and up. So essentially what I'm going for is pulling my elbow to the back, but again, if you have something heavy, like this 15, just get a little squeeze and bring it up. Or just take a body weight, that works too. We're opening up the shoulder, getting good mobility. Boom, I know, woo! <laughs> Feeling it, a lot of moving parts here. <laughs> bring it up and down, five seconds. We got three, two, one, and relax. Let's get the same thing other side. So you can just do that hip lift with the clamshell, or you can add a little lift with your back. Let's do it. Zip up that core, stack those hips up and up. Optional here. Three, two, one, here we go. Up and down. And here, boom. And down, breathe, yes, bring it up and down, lift, opening up, again, not moving through the pelvis, we're opening up on the hip, stable here, stable here in our core, Three, two, one, and relax. Last move, team. Let's take it to that pull through. So again, we've got our weight. We're pulling, reaching underneath, just like that. Core is engaged. Last move of this last snack. Then we cool it down. Wrap that core. Push up through your hands. Here we go. Reach under, pull it through. Again, locking out in your quads and your glutes is gonna help keep you stable here. So that way we're not tempted to drop in the hips or be moving all over the place. 
You're still gonna get a little bit of movement, a little bit of rotation to work that core as we shift the weight side to side. You're reaching under, pull it through, back to center. Reach under, pull it through, back to center. You have 10 seconds. Let's make it our best 10 seconds because then we are done. We got five, four, three, two. Breathe, yes. Team, stretch it back. <laughs> Whoo! Just shift your weight side to side. Press those shoulders down. Let your head and neck relax. Yes, you can reach under with one arm if you want. It's a nice, good stretch. Good shoulder mobility as well. Whoo! Let's take it to that other side. Reach under, big stretch. <sighs> And then let's bring it up. You can roll through that back. Hope you are feeling good. Thank you for hanging with me. You knew what to do, even, even if that mic went out. You guys, you are pros and you got it done. Let's roll back onto your feet. And I just want you to hang out there. So either you've got your hands on the floor, on the tops of your legs, grabbing a wall, and just pedal here while you let your head, neck, shoulders, back, all of that relax. And then we're really slowly gonna roll our way up. Take your time. Whoo! Big stretch up right through here over to the side. So there it is, team. We're gonna do the same thing next week or something similar with our kettlebells. So giving you five minute snacks that you can either block together, you can think of them as just five, five minute circuits, right? Or you can think of them as snacks that you could do at any time. So also bookmark this workout if you, again, you have a day, you've been sitting all day at work, you have your weights close by, if you're working from home or you have them at the office and you just wanna grab through something, you know, hey, this first circuit, we're gonna do some lunges, curl and press. We're not getting down on the mat, I can do this here. Or again, you're watching TV at night, think, ah, oh, I can just get down on the mat and do this circuit, cause it's all on the mat, I don't even have to move. Woo, thank you so much, Dixie. Thanks for joining. More snacks coming your way. Leaning into that hamstring pull. Of course, don't forget to subscribe here to the Bowflex YouTube channel. Leave us a comment, especially if you're walking, watching this later. I know a lot of people are not able to join live, so we love seeing who is enjoying these workouts later. And we always love getting feedback from you. And of course, if you were looking for any more information on these Bowflex Select Tech 552 dumbbells that I love because you can lift a lot of weights with one piece of equipment or a kettlebell or a barbells or any of our new cardio equipment, you can find it here on the YouTube channel or at bowflex.com. Thank you so much for being here today. Let's get one big deep breath in. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Drone Dogs. Whew, and breathe. Thank you for being here. I'm Amy here with Bowflex and your dumbbell workout snacks, and I will see you next time. Have a great week, everybody.